what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. It's been a minute since I made a video, got a lot of stuff going on, but if you guys want to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing, you guys can check the links down in the description, you can check out my second YouTube channel, my podcast link, and then my Patreon if you guys want to support this channel. Like I said, it's been a minute since I put some stuff out, but I do have things going on in the background, and uh, we'll talk about some of those things. In this video, I wanted to be showing you guys a mount that goes onto your holster. Um, and this is for most of you guys, it's going to be your law enforcement or you wear some kind of duty belt, duty rig, and you can add accessories to your holster. Okay. So on mine, kind of backtracking, I made a video, it's been a little while now, and it's been my biggest video to date on rearranging my duty holster, or sorry, my duty belt. And it's been a really long time. That's when I wore everything just on my duty belt. We have since gone to outer vests and I moved a bunch of my gear from my belt up to my vest and I probably should make an update, just have not done so yet. But in that video, I took the tourniquet off of my belt and I mentioned that I was going to be putting it in my pocket, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I was doing it in the short period of time that it took for my vest to come in so that I can move my tourniquet up to my vest. So I ran it like that for a while. Unfortunately, I just did not like the placement of it. So there was a few different things that, that kind of came into play. I rearranged my, my outer vest and essentially what I had on this side was I have my pins and all the stuff kind of sitting here and then my taser sits a little bit lower kind of off to the side, um, more towards my back and then my radio sits kind of right here on my side. So that tourniquet set right in between kind of the radio and the taser but it sat up higher. Now in order for that tourniquet to sit on there I had to have it kind of linked only through one of the molly loops so it kind of bounced up and down if I try to do it through both it kind of pushed the gear apart it didn't feel right it didn't sit well I just didn't like the way it went so I had it like that for a little bit and for some reason it didn't cause me any issues in the beginning and then after a while what I started to notice was if I leaned forward or if I put my hands together if I was driving it would kind of compress all the gear up in the front and the call button for my radio was right on the bottom corner of that tourniquet, or yeah, the tourniquet holder. So what would happen is I would put my hands together, it would beep, I would key up, and it was just an issue. It was having accidental key ups and just a problem that I didn't want to have. So I ended up taking it off there. It went back in my pocket for a short period of time. And then I found a product online, and I, I, I can't tell you guys how much I really enjoy the placement of where my tourniquet's at now, and I'll get to why. So, what I'm gonna be showing you guys right now is the, the tourniquet placement on the holster, and then we'll get into the name of the product and all that other stuff. So this is my duty holster. This is a Safari Land, I believe it's the ALS um, light bearing for a SIG P320. There's a extended 21 round mag in there, it's a nine millimeter, but this is what it looks like right here. The gun is loaded, so we're not gonna take this out. So this sits over on my side, over here. Now, if I'm doing something and I wanna reach over, I can reach over, pull this tourniquet out, and it's not so far. I mean, I can. it's just like trying to put your, your non-dominant hand or your support hand on your other pocket. Really easy to get to. I know some people say, you know, put your tourniquet in a in a central location so it's easy to get to with both hands, but it really is as easy as if you can use your non-dominant hand and reach over and touch your other pocket, your strong side pocket, then you can reach that tourniquet. So it sits just like that. I can reach over, I can grab it, pull the tourniquet right out. It's nice and easy, but this is what it looks like mounted. This is kind of the front view if I'm looking at you, and that's it mounted up. It pushes right up against that holster, doesn't get in the way of anything. Um, I can still come over the top, the, the release is there, I have the secondary release, I mean, I've had zero issues with placement of the tourniquet onto this holster. Now, this is a, I believe it's Centrifuge Training, um, you guys can look it up, it's called, let's see if I don't mess this up, it's a holster accessory mount, okay, so H-A-M, uh, holster accessory mount, let's see, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the name of it right there, so... I bought mine on Optics Planet. You can go directly to their website. Um, I just had some, I bought some stuff on Optics Planet before. 
If you guys check out my previous videos on my uh, CAA, the little Micronis I had, I bought some gear on, my, or on uh, Optics Planet before. When you buy certain things on Optics Planet, they give you money back to use on the website. So essentially that's what I did, and I got this at a discounted price just for being loyal to that site. Now this isn't sponsored. I don't get anything out of mentioning their name. Um, so buy it from wherever you want. I'm just telling you that's the route that I went. That's where I got it from. And at the time, it ran me about $35. There's two different versions. This is just the basic um, holster accessory mount. There is another one, and I can't think of the name off the top of my head. If I remember, I'll place it down in this video. But there is another one that creates a small cant in your holster, and it's supposed to make it easier for you to come out and draw. Um, it just adds a little, like I said, adds a little bit of cant from the way your pistol was mounted onto your duty belt. Now they do recommend that you run this QLS system the way I have here where it's just quick easy access to take on and off and I've done video on this in the past. I love this QLS system from Safari Land. I've had zero issues with it and I know this kind of looks like a lot. It looks bulky but I can tell you this is my favorite favorite thing as far as positioning of my tourniquet on my uh, on my body, on my vest, on my on my belt, everything. Now I'll place a picture of what this holster mount looks like. It's a holster accessory mount, okay? It's not a holster tourniquet mount. You can mount so many things other than just a tourniquet. I found it easier to, or not necessarily easier, but it just made more sense to me and my needs to, to mount my tourniquet on there. I was looking for somewhere to do it, and that's what I found the most effective as far as from my personal um, opinion. Now, what you can do, what I've seen other people do is they'll mount like a, a an extra magazine sitting right up here in the front so when you move your system from your let's say your work duty belt to an off duty you know whether it's clipped in your truck clipped on your bedside different things like that you have an extra magazine sitting on there another thing i've seen people do is they mount a spare flashlight on here um i've even seen someone they mounted a set of handcuffs on here which seems like it would be a little bit bulky just in my opinion but I have seen it done. I looked up different things online and you can find pictures of people putting pretty much any and everything on there. But as far as staying lined up, I felt like the tourniquet did not add too much bulk to this. Um, again, made it very easy to get to. Just really simple in my mind. So if you guys give me one second, we're gonna switch over. Just like in the previous video, I'm gonna put my duty belt just on what I'm wearing right now. I'm not gonna get all suited up. But so I can show you what it looks like on, and I can show you how easy it is to get to. So give me one second. All right, so I fully realize that I'm out of frame. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. But all we're really showing is just this piece right here. Um, this is what it looks like. It usually sits just a little bit higher when I'm actually wearing my uniform. Everything's cinched down, tightened up. But essentially this is kind of where it sits. Like I said, I can come over the top with my pistol. I can come in and out without any issues. My belt is loose right now, so everything's going to be bouncing around. But I can come over the top, I can get that pistol with no problems. I can come over and grab here, and then like I said, left-handed, not a problem. As long as you can reach over and grab that pocket, you can reach that tourniquet without any issues. So, for those of you who watched the original video of me talking about rearranging my duty belt, I did put up a follow one out, or a follow-up video out after that. A lot of people don't necessarily follow the channel and watch every video, and especially not in order, but there is an updated video for those of you guys who are interested in that, as well as now, I have a full vest set up. I'm pretty sure I ran through, I gotta double check, I've done all these videos, I even have some videos that aren't even released, but I really wanted to show you guys this product. If I remember, I will leave it linked down in the description below so you guys can go and check that out, but it's through Centru, and now I can't think of the name of it. Centrifuge, if I'm not or mistaken, Centrifuge Training, I'll, I'll leave it down here below, but Centrifuge Training, and just type in Holster Accessory Mount. So if you guys have any questions, I've been running this thing for, I'm going to say, uh, probably over a year now, six months to a year, somewhere in there. And like I said, I've had zero issues with it, it does not get in the way, um, everything sits perfect when I sit down, my gun is facing down, it just sits right up here up front. Another issue that I ran into that some of you guys might run into is so this name and date band or this date and time band, sorry. Um, when it was on my vest, I had some comments of people saying you shouldn't have it taped over, you shouldn't have it taped over. 
and I agree with you 100%. I know that that's not the proper way to do it. The only reason that I had it that way, and I think I talked about this before, is an issue that I ran into is because of where that holster was sitting, as I was driving, I'm, I'm usually driving left-handed, when I'd come over the top to grab the steering wheel, that the Velcro or the hook and loop on the tourniquet was rubbing the inside of my shirt. So where it would rub over and over and over, I started developing a bunch of fraying, and then my shirt started tearing because of my tourniquet and how often it would rub back and forth. So I put the date and time tab over it to eliminate that, but for those of you guys who know anything about cat tourniquets or have ever used a cat tourniquet, time is precious. So you don't want to have to be fighting to pull that thing off and put it on, and it sounds simple unless you've been in that high stress situation where you need to hurry up and pull that tourniquet out put it on as quick as possible to save somebody's life. So that kind of is just addressing that. I, I know that that's not the proper way to do it, and I know I got some comments in the past, but it is now set up the correct way. It's not over, it's not in the way. I can get to the windlass, I can get to everything without any problems. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I know I haven't put out too much here recently, but there are more videos coming out soon. Let me know what you guys want to see. And like I said, check out all the links in the description if you guys want to keep up with what I'm doing. Thank you guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you on the next one.